Hey, how you doing? Look what showed up in my workshop. My neighbor bought this for $15. Let's see if we can get it started. Ready? Here we go. Make, fix, grow, cook. Garden fork. So, if we could get a Husqvarna running for 15 bucks, that'd be pretty good. It's going to be $15 and some change. Um, I'm going to try a couple things to get this, see if we can get it going. Uh, I've been successful several times resurrecting old chainsaws this way. It doesn't always work, but, you know, you got to try. And if you don't try, then you're not learning. There could be a multitude of things wrong with this. Um, it could be a bad coil, the piston could be scored, or it could be something really simple. First thing, fuel. Let's see if it has fuel in it, and if it is, it is bone dry in there. I don't know, can you see that? No fuel. Let's check the oil. Husqvarna, Sweden. It's a Husqvarna 51. A little sign of oil there. So the top case looks like it's been opened and they didn't quite get it back together all the way. These screws are loose. So I got a magic three step, one, two, three, uh, step process for this. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the spark plug. Here's our spark plug. Here's our air filter. That looks like it's been tried to be removed, maybe. It's been cable tied around here, interesting. This looks kind of new. Um, not horrible, not great. Inside here is the cylinder, and I can't really show it to you, but I'm going to shine... Go point it to there, Eric. Good. I'm going to shine a little light in there and see if I can see any scoring or any badness. Is that a word? Um, you want that to be kind of clean in there. I mean, there's some carbon, but... It doesn't look horrible. So I picked up a new spark plug for this, and there's a key thing that's important when you put a new spark plug in. Hold on, let me open the package one open. Wow, this is like glued shut. Hold on. Voila, new spark plug. A little better than the old spark plug. Old, new. We want to check the spark plug gap. So this is um, a series of gap measurements. Is that? I'll put the right word here. I'm blanking on it. But you want the gap between this arc that comes over and the electrode to be 0 0.020 on this Husqvarna. And that fits in there nicely. So that's a proper gap. So what happens is the spark jumps from the center to that curved metal piece there. That's why it's called a spark plug and a spark plug gap, because the arc happens right there, and that fires the engine. Don't forget, reconnect this. A lot of times this is held on with a screw. Well, that's in pretty good shape, but you can clean this off with a brush. Uh, you can take this outside and do that, okay? If you have an air compressor, you can blow this out. You want to blow this way. This is the outside, this is the inside. Blow from the inside out. Pshhh. Pretend that's an air compressor. Pshhh. Do it outside and don't spray it toward yourself. That would be a bad thing. This 
This is the throat of the carburetor. Um, it looks pretty clean in there. So um, sometimes you can throw carburetor cleaner down there, but I'm just gonna put the filter back on and see what happens. This screw doesn't have anything to screw into. Um, maybe it's an aftermarket, I don't know. But I'm gonna put it back on with a cable tie. I'm more than just a little curious. This has been on my mind for a while. It's been on my shop floor for a little too long. Um, my neighbors know what my shop looks like. Don't look. Let's talk about fuel. I'm a big fan of the pre-mixed fuel. And there's gonna be people yelling at me in the comments here and go ahead and yell. Um, yeah, you can mix your own, but if you're the average backyard, a couple weekends a year chainsaw kind of person, um, this is the stuff to use. It is more expensive than gas and mixing it yourself. But first of all, I think you can mix gas wrong. Uh, this is a 50 to one. Is it supposed to be 40 to one? You know, you can, your eyeballing measurements, this it's spot on. Second, there's no ethanol in this. Um, in a lot of states, my state particularly, you can't buy gas that doesn't have ethanol in it. Um, ethanol ruins small engine carburetors. It just does. Um, I use gas stabilizer and all my four cycle stuff. Two cycle, we go with this stuff. And that's what we're gonna use in here. All right, I've done the three most obvious things. Let's take it outside and see what happens. Will it start? Switch is on, choke is out. It needs a little tuning, but that worked. So, fresh gas, fresh spark plug, gap properly, clean out the air filter. That solved the last two chainsaws I've tried to start. There should be some more videos here about my chainsaw world. Let me know what you think. What's a good way to get these things started? Make it a great day.